office, automakers are meeting with senior members of the Trump administration, including Commerce Secretary Wilbur Ross. Now, the goal for the administration here is to try to convince these executives to expand their manufacturing capacity here in the U.S., especially for electric vehicles. The goal of the German execs, however, is to avoid any new auto tariffs. Now, we have already seen uh, Daimler's outgoing CEO, Dieter Zetsche, arrive here at the White House outside the old executive office building. We caught up with him just as he arrived. We don't know, but of course we are optimistic that this will be constructive discussions. Constructive? Good, 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 good. What would you like to see out of the meeting? But certainly better understanding and a positive way forward. Positive way forward? What would be considered a positive way forward? Well, that's what we'll try to understand inside. We are also expecting BMW CFO Nicholas Peter to arrive as well. We are told that the administration will be meeting with these executives individually, so we're expecting quite a long day ahead. Back over to you guys. Elon, uh, Secretary Ross on our air earlier today talking about uh, moving, uh, trying to attract production, but specifically of EVs. And I wonder, can we characterize that as a pivot uh, by this administration or not? I think the goal here is to expand manufacturing generally. Secretary Ross said earlier that he felt that a lot of the German automakers in particular had already sort of tapped out their manufacturing capacity in the U.S. for traditional vehicles. So EV is one area in which they could expand in the future. They're also looking to capture some of that market share from other countries. Volkswagen looking at building um, a new EV facility in Germany and China as well. So uh, they want to make sure that that new manufacturing capacity is being built here in the U.S. as they try to reduce the trade deficit between the two countries.